Hey y'all, welcome back to Rolling with Stone. So today is going to be sort of like a mini tutorial, uh, well, a tutorial, I guess, of how I got this look and a review of a new palette. Um, well, it's new to me at least, a new palette that I got by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. So it's this guy right here, and I was excited to get it because the last palette that I bought was an Anastasia palette, which was the uh, Modern Renaissance palette, which I really enjoyed. I've been using it to death, so I was like, you know what? I need to get a new palette so I can show you guys some different looks because I'm pretty sure you guys are getting bored <laughs> with the Modern Renaissance palette. So um, I really did like it. This is the um, second time that I've used it. I tried it out yesterday. I did a different look, so I did um, something a little bit more light yesterday. So today I was like, okay, I'm going to go with something a little bit more dark and smoky and so Tree. So yeah, so this is the palette here. It's like a suede type uh, packaging, which is, I feel like it's absolutely gorgeous and perfect for, um, you know, the upcoming holidays. And then when you open it up, it actually comes uh, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 colors. So yeah, you see it has uh, a bunch of frosty colors and some mattes and they are so gorgeous and the cool thing about it is these frosty ones you guys are sort of creamy like they go on like it's like really creamy so when you lay it on the skin it's almost like paint which I feel like um, makes it really super pigmented and just awesome color payoff I I really really like the quality of this palette I do like the fact that there's a black in here so if you want to get those really smoky looks you can go ahead and get that done because I feel like a lot of palettes don't have a black in it they'll have like a chocolate brown or you know they usually have like these rust colors to blend out your crease but a lot of them don't have black so I feel like um, that was really cool with this palette and this lime green I feel like is different too I can't wait to do something with that I started to put it in the inner corner but I'll probably do another look tomorrow with it but yeah so this is it and I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look so if you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching so I'm gonna start off by priming my eye just so the eyeshadow can have something good to stick to with painterly paint pot and then I'm taking the color lure just to kind of blend in the crease to give it just sort of like a neutral blend and then as you can see I'm taking Eden and then further blending it up a little higher in the crease just so I can have that sort of like pinkish fade out effect. Now I'm taking the blue color Throne and packing that on my lid heavily because I want that color payoff to be really deep. And then taking Dimension, that really pretty sky bluish silvery color and then putting that in the middle of the lid just for a pop of light in the middle. So with Inglot Gel Liner in 77, I'm gonna create a wing line. And then using the Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand, that's what I'm gonna be highlighting with. And then blending it out with just a regular cosmetic sponge. Now take an air spun loose powder in honey beige. I'm gonna set my highlighted areas. Now taking the CoverGirl True Blend Cream Contour Palette. I've been really, really loving this lately. It blends so good and it's not too, too dark. So it gives me sort of a natural blend with the contour. So I'm just gonna blend that with my Real Techniques brush for contour, taking the darkest color out of the palette. And then using the same air spun powder and cosmetic wedge, I'm gonna just do a little bit of reverse contouring. So it gives me more of like really that strong contour look. I added some lashes and then using uh, Max Mineralize Skin Finish to set my entire face. Now I'm taking that same blue color, Throne, to smudge out my bottom waterline. And using uh, Better Than Sex Mascara just to blend my, my real lashes with the false lashes. 
the True Complexion Contour Palette. It's a powdered palette, and I'm just setting my contour with that. And it, as you can see, it's giving it a deeper look as well. And going back into the same Black Radiance palette, I'm taking that gold color to do some highlighting. And then Max Loose Powder in the color gold, just to give it more of just a really popping highlight. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. This is a Mary Kay blush. And using Cyber World Lip Liner by MAC, I'm gonna line my lips. And for lipstick, I'm using uh, Baby's All Right from MAC as well. And then the lip gloss I'm going to top it with is one of MAC's mineralized lip glosses in the color Lovingly Yours. And to set everything, I'm using MAC's Fix Plus Spray. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave it down below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, thank you so much for rolling with stone.